Wow, a uh, purple schematic version of a medieval weapon. Where have we seen that before? Hmm, but I wasn't even going to make a video on this because people were wondering, Hey, Beast, did you cover this? Because I was streaming at the time, and I was like, no, honestly. I was going to cover the Basilisk back in the day, but if I go down to my event schematics, you can actually see that I had a perked up Basilisk ready to go that I had leveled up to 130 at one point, and it was so bad that I put it back away. But... I've had my mind changed. I don't know if it's because it was all gold instead of all blue, or because I was probably this one, probably because I was in a full party this time instead of, you know, alone like I was the last time I tried it, but this weapon actually performed really well. I was impressed, and uh, the perks we ran on it were pretty much exactly what I had here. Crit rating, double crit damage, and mag size. That is... Kind of a sketchy loadout. You guys know I don't love crit damage, especially on a pistol because, you know, you are shooting one bullet at a time. However, there is a caveat on this one. With 4.5 shots per second fire rate, it's actually pretty decent in getting lots of shots out quickly. And with a base 20% crit chance, you are effectively, it's 48%, but effectively you're critting every other shot. And in the team that I was running with today, with Beetle Justin support, I was critting for a 420 blaze it percent multiplier, which is basically a 5.2 times, you know, damage bonus, which means every other shot I was critting for 170,000, which is a really, really nice way to play, and I found that it was extremely consistent, especially with the headshot multiplier smoothing out the damage. I had a fun time. This thing was really good. It melted through an elemental smasher. It did perfectly good damage. I was really impressed with it. I did have a little bit of help from the scooter boy and the clown man, but otherwise it, uh, it kind of slayed. And then of course, as you'd imagine, against a normal physical smasher, it did even more damage, because you know, it's 25% more damage against the physical, and it just shredded. I was really impressed with the basilisk, so let's talk Talk about the best perks for this thing. Do you really call me and without warning start recording a f***ing video? I would never. <laughs> you started talking and as soon as you started talking, talking, I was like, that's his recording voice. I gotta be quiet. I don't even have a recording voice. <laughs> oh yeah, you do. Oh, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is just how I talk normally. No, your recording voice, you're like more enthusiastic. But you have a couple of different options with how you want to perk this weapon. Because as I mentioned, crit rating, crit damage is probably the better way to go for this weapon. With a base 20% crit chance, you're critting every other time. However, I always like to mention that fire rate and damage is a perfectly good way to go. I found that the fire rate on this thing was perfectly smooth and totally worth using. So you can go fire rate double damage if you're absolutely a crit rating, crit damage hater. So you could go fire rate up here, damage down here. Mag size is kind of preferred. We'll talk about that in a second. And damage down here. But that's more or less the alternate build. You can go double headshot, you know, mag size damage if you really want to do that, or fire rate double headshot. I don't want to rule those out because if you're good at aiming for the head, that can be a very, very fantastic and consistent multiplier. However, I was running, you know, crit on this, and I'll, I'll talk about why I think that's better in a second. Now, I know it's better because the DPS is higher. It, it's just better mathematically. That's not really my opinion. Uh, however, I have mentioned in the past that pistols aren't really DPS weapons. You're not really doing damage per second. You're, you're usually killing in one or two shots, but even then, if you're going to be firing two or three shots, in that time, you almost certainly would have crit anyway. So, I, I think a crit build is kind of the obvious way to go here, and I did run my hero loadout to accommodate for that. Many people would think that you'd want to run beetle jest. You'd want to buff your crit damage as much as possible. However, I'd be putting all of my eggs in one basket, so I actually ran Ranger Deadeye in my lead to buff all of my damage by 50%, and then I left uh, Beetle Jess to be in the support. That's because their DPS is effectively, it's like within 5%, and if you can figure out which one of those heroes is 5% better without actually doing the math, I'll be impressed, because it's never going to be a noticeable difference. So I ran Ranger Deadeye in the lead, just so that I wasn't relying on my crits, and I was extremely impressed, as I said. So, if you want to go with how we ran it, this is how you're going to do it. You're going to want crit rating right here in the, you know, in the fourth perk, because you're not going to have any other options here. Crit damage on the top, crit damage on the bottom. Again, if you want to smoothen out that damage, you don't want to just rely on crits you can go an extra damage bonus here but it's going to be significantly less than an extra crit damage on average so i'm going to highly opt for that that second crit damage there or you could do fire rate crit rating crit damage that would allow you to get more shots off faster and be able to you know crit more often even though you do less damage per crit that is another way to go but like i said the fire rate seemed okay for me sometimes it felt bad sometimes it worked but i didn't really have any problem with the fire rate now, I did mention that mag size is better here, and you can kind of see why already. 1.6 reload is not half bad. With a mag size perk on this, you have 21 shots in the magazine, which is almost plenty for, as I showed, even a smasher if you have a full party. And uh, with a 1.6 reload speed, you're really not going to be out of the action too long. And with the Basilisk, and most of my experience running around shooting with this weapon, I did continue to use it long after recording, and this holds true, that having more bullets up front is a lot better than having to stop and reload. Though I'm 
definitely going to prefer mag size on this. But I'm obviously going to let you know that being able to reload nice and quick is nice. Just know that those 12 shots instead of 21 will kind of suck when you need it most. And it's something you should look out for. So energy element is almost always recommended. Uh, you can do whatever element you want. Right now, as of recording this, it came out during the blockbuster event. So chrome husks are in the game. And fire and water are currently the only two ways to kill them. That might be a factor temporarily. But in the long run, I almost always recommend energy or physical if you're in the lower zones. I'd just like to mention before we close it out here that the Basilisk being a part of the medieval set does have these each shot fire grants shield type of uh, uh, six perks on it. I don't know all of the specific options but it's not really a big deal if you're using blast in the past and I don't think it really makes much of a uh, difference in terms of which schematic you go for because as I showed with the Basilisk schematic you don't actually have any uh, perks here to actually buff the sold and snared or affliction damage so if you do have a copy of this weapon that buffs the shield I don't think it's that big of a deal snare was nice in the sum of the gameplay that I showed it's always fun to slow enemies down it helps you a lot more but if you do have one of these that might have affliction on it I'm not sure if that's possible but if it's an option then affliction is kind of nice in the recent updates they've made it do a lot more damage and that might be a personal uh, preference for me but uh, I don't think the six perk is that big of a deal on this weapon so I wouldn't worry too much about it so that's the Basilisk, a pistol that I was definitely going to knock down in this video. I I, I don't want to say knock down because I always like to be objective with these. You know, I, I don't want to say a weapon's bad unless it really is bad. And it didn't impress me the first time I ever used it, but... With a fuller party and maybe gold was the difference instead of blue perks, I was impressed. I thought this was a very powerful weapon and I'd, I'd recommend you try it out. Even if it's going to cost you 100 legendary flux, I have no idea why Epic is trolling us with a purple schematic, but that's just how it is right now. If this comes back in a future llama, you'll have a gold one without any flux. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Jaffe for being ignored for the entirety of this video. If you guys enjoyed yeah. it, leave a like. Dislike it if you disliked it. Subscribe if you're new and uh, have a nice day. Bye. And then...